Hello! Good morning! Today, we're going to be talking about my favorite things to do in sweater weather, sweater weather, sweater, sweater weather. That is so hard to say, Ali. You don't even know. I dare you say it three times fast. Sweater weather, sweater, whatever. The tea I selected for today is a super awesome one, and I'm so excited about it. It is a seasonal tea. You cannot find it in stores year round. The first year I bought it, when I discovered that, and I went into Trader Joe's to buy more, I was devastated. So the next year, when I found it again, I bought 10 boxes and it lasted me a whole year. Messed up, you say? Money not well spent, you say? Well, I beg to differ. Vanilla and cinnamon black tea from Trader Joe's. The blend of vanilla, cinnamon, and black tea will satisfy your thirst and put you in a festive mood. The lemur says so. If a lemur talks in the first place, you better pay attention. Why wouldn't you like tea drinking lemurs? If you don't, you're a heartless person. He's all wrapped up in Christmas lights though. I don't know if he understands the concept of electricity. Someone better uh, watch out for him. Anybody else watch Zaboomafu growing up? It's so good! Ooh. I'm so excited. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I want you. It's tea time. It's tea time with Mary. Okay, so sweater weather. I said it right that time. Ooh. Different tips for survival when it is sweater weather. So someone who went to school in the icy tundra. I didn't actually go to school in the tundra. But it would snow like three feet. There's nothing like layering up. Liz. You know the Brits are all about their lives. I kid you not, if you have any kind of tights or long underwear or anything that you can put underneath your jeans or your pants or whatever it is, it will save you. I super promise. You know what else saves me a lot? Death. I'm a lemur. And then of course the magical land of scarves. Scarves! Pashminas are my current favorite. You can wear it as a shawl. You can wear it wrapped around your neck. You can put it in your bag. And I have too many and it is an ever-growing collection. Although one of my favorite scarves is a knit scarf that my sister made for me. It was the first thing she ever knitted and it's super awesome and warm. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most awesome things that you can have to cope with bad weather is a travel mug. Say with me, travel mug. If you're a coffee drinker, if you're a tea drinker, if you're a hot chocolate drinker, there's nothing better than being outside with a little bit of nip in the air. Should I say nip? Is that an appropriate term? Having something not only warm to drink, but warm for your hands. It's a lifesaver! We should all take advice from lemurs more often. Well, that's good. So even if you're not in a super cold climate, you can still apply these rules is that you probably don't have to wear a parka. I feel like being in Southern California in the winter is like winter in the movies. Sometimes when it is like 40 degrees, I will still wear my winter coat because I have acclimated to the climate much faster than I thought. The magic of La La Land. Cinnamon is great. I love me some lemurs. I hope that these survival tips for your colder season will not only help you cope, but also make it enjoyable so you'll look forward to it every year. It's tea time with Mary. Put it into a simple, yet complicated. Why do you talk like that?